In this video, we will look at how BrahMos, a supersonic cruise missile with a ramjet system, works. This is how huge BrahMos is compared to a person. It has a length of 8.3 meters and a mass of 3,000 kilograms. Let's look at its parts first before how it works. This is the nose cap, seeker, control system, semi-armor piercing warhead, or can also be a nuclear warhead, solid booster, ramjet which is comprised of the inlet, inner body, fuel tank, combustion chamber which is comprised of flame holder, fuel injector, igniter, and convergent divergent nozzle with a variable throat. Now, this is how it works. After the target is acquired using any iStar system asset, the data will be passed to the mobile command post, then to the mobile autonomous launcher. After that, the missile will already be launched. It will adjust its flight direction using its nose cap, which will be jettisoned afterwards. The missile may fly up to 15,000 meters from the ground or stay at 5 meters depending on the pathway that was set by the command. The missile will fly using its solid booster until it reaches Mach 2. After that, the solid booster is jettisoned as the missile changes to its ramjet system. The missile has to be at supersonic speed before it uses its ramjet system so that the air that gets inside has high pressure and high temperature. But how does the air gain high pressure and high temperature? As we can see here, the design of the inner body was intentionally made this way in order for the air that gets inside gets shocked and compressed as it passes through the inlet. A compressed air has high pressure and high temperature which is what is needed in order to achieve supersonic speed. At this point, this is the condition of the air. The incoming air is supersonic low pressure cool air. Then it becomes subsonic high pressure warm air when it enters inside. Then it becomes high pressure high temperature in the combustion chamber. And finally, becomes supersonic high pressure and high temperature in the convergent divergent nozzle. When the warm air gets inside the combustion chamber, it is mixed with a liquid fuel like hydrogen from the fuel tank using an injector and then gets ignited by the igniter. The flame accumulates in the flame holder. Because of this flame holder, the flame does not immediately go to the nozzle. Then, the flame goes to the convergent-divergent style nozzle. This very design of the nozzle makes the velocity of the air go high and when it goes out to the divergent nozzle, the flame bursts immensely. Because the nozzle has a variable throat, the missile's thrust can be controlled as the throat can be narrowed down or opened. Because of the flame's high pressure, it blows so immensely and exponentially. And because it blows immensely, the forward motion or ram of the missile is also very fast. And because the missile flies so fast, it ingests more air that also increases the pressure of the air and flame inside the missile. In other words, the faster the missile goes, the faster it goes. Because of this, the BrahMos can fly up to more than Mach 3. When the target is near, the missile then starts to dive and activates its seeker to lock the target. The missile will continue to fly at Mach 3 until it hits the target. Due to its 200 to 300 kilograms warhead and a very high kinetic energy, the BrahMos inflicts serious damage to its target. In physics, Kinetic energy is the energy formed while an object is in motion. The strength of kinetic energy depends on how fast the object is moving. So, the faster the object moves, the higher the kinetic energy is. Therefore, 
Brahmos is so destructive because it is so fast. It doesn't even need an explosive in order to destroy its target. Also, because of Brahmos' speed, its semi-armor-piercing warhead can easily penetrate the armor of the enemy's warship. Then, it activates the fuse of the explosive, which causes the explosion. Because Brahmos is so fast, the enemy has a very small chance of reacting in order to intercept such a missile. The enemy will only know that there is Brahmos missile when they are already hit by it. And that is how a supersonic cruise missile like Brahmos works.